let's dive into Cybercorp and see if it's worth your time and money. Oh, and a little side note, I was unexpectedly attacked by PewDiePie in game, regardless of how ridiculous it sounds, so stay tuned for that small bizarre twist. <laughs> Cybercop, developed by Megame Studio, is a brutal, fast-paced looter shooter with a top-down view that you can play solo or with friends, set in shady cyberpunk world where corporates rule everything. Yes, think Cyberpunk 2077 vibes. The game gives you a gritty tour through omni-cities, neon-soaked dark streets. If you enjoyed Cyberpunk 2077 aesthetic, you will feel right at home. The game's city visuals echo the same mix of vibrant neon lights, gritty alleys and corporate backstabbing. And as a fan of City Project Red, I have to admit I enjoy it. You are an agent working under the orders of Cybercorp and your assignments come via your operator, who is out business. You control a synthetic body outfitted with upgradable parts, allowing you to swap in more advanced tech as you go. Right from the start, our protagonists bring a sarcastic, laid-back attitude to even the grimmest missions, which wraps some of the characters the wrong way. But hey, it's not his real body on the line, right? Each mission has a shooting, slashing and looting your way through Omnicity. You are equipped with two guns, a melee weapon and two skills, with the option to unlock a third later on. There are crates scattered around the contained loot and credits, and you can pause any time to swap gear. Just remember, enemies keep moving while you are in the menu. Your character is incredibly mobile with dashes and slides allowing you to wave through firefights. You will also find body parts that can increase mobility, boosting shields or adding health. And if you are not sure where to go, just follow the flower markers on the map. Each section of the map is blocked until you clear out the enemy, so if stealth is your thing, this might not be your game. But let's be real, charging into action is the whole fun here. Quick reminder, if you are into discovering new indie games, you are in right place. Hit that subscribe button for more reviews like this. There is a lot of action on screen, but if you manage your surroundings, it's all pretty doable. Best part, you will never run out of ammo, so blast away. The main game spans three chapters, each ending in a boss fight. Even if you are solo, they aren't too difficult, and once you are true, you've got side missions and extra activities to keep you busy, there is an even Halloween event going on. On some maps you will face wave of enemies in locked down sectors, like arenas. After clearing them, a huge warning appears on the screen. An invader is coming. These are seriously tough enemies with abilities like yours. My first invader, PewDiePie, who slides me up with a few hits. He did that next time too. And later, Elon Musk made an appearance too. If you manage to defeat one of the surprise bosses, you will score top tier gear. As a looter shooter, Cybercorp has plenty of gear, resources and loot stashes to discover. Weapons, armors and body parts all have levels with higher level offering better stats. If you don't need them, you can either sell it or reforge to make it better. Skill can also be combined and level up, giving you even more powerful abilities. You have two main currencies, credits for buying and selling items and cubrium used mainly for upgrading equipment slots. Just watch out, it's pricey to swap things around too often, besides that with a better gear, you will then survive in higher levels. And last boss is not that hard but still quite demanding. The game mostly works well, but there were some pretty annoying bugs. I got stuck inside walls more than once, though the devs thankfully included an unstack button in the pouch menu. Other bugs were minor, like invisible turrets, other time soundtracks, like also blasting effects went crazy, which was kinda annoying, to be honest. But one major glitch had me lagging so hard for a couple of minutes, to the point where the game finally crashed. I was playing already patched few times versions, so I can't imagine possibly backfests that were on screen at day one. It's a little disappointing, but the devs are actively patching the game, so fingers crossed things get smoother. While making this video, they released another patch, so new players will gonna have much better experience. Welcome to Night City, or uh, more like Omni City, yes, Omni City. If you are into the neon drenched, color socked look of Cyberpunk, you would appreciate this. The city is both dark and vibrant, and honestly, the world building has been done pretty well. Plus, the music fits perfectly, adding to the high energy feel of the gameplay. It creates nice working immersion and suits the world pretty well. As a concept and a world, Cybercorp nails the the Cyberpunk nails the Cyberpunk vibe, and I found myself genuinely enjoying the game, even outside of recording. The action is engaging, the shooting mechanics are satisfying, and the missions are short enough to play in quick bursts. Great for handheld devices like the Steam Deck. However, the bugs do bring it down a notch. 
it seems like maybe they rushed to release it on Halloween, but with a more polish, the game could really shine. So if you want to give a Cyber Corp a go, there is a link in the description. And as always, if you are into indie games or want updates on upcoming titles, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye.